Hi, welcome to this video. I welcome you all to my channel all about mechanical engineering. For today's video, the topic of discussion is concept of temperature, zeroth law of thermodynamics and measurement of temperature. In today's video, we'll try to understand what is temperature, what are various temperature scales, what is zeroth law of thermodynamics, what is thermometry and thermometer, thermometric substance and thermometric property and the last point will be temperature measuring devices so let us start what is temperature we all know and we are familiar with this word temperature and we can judge the temperature of a given body whether it is having higher value or a lower value as compared to the surroundings as discussed in previous video we also know it is a thermodynamic property but the question is what is the definition of temperature so temperature is defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of any body relative to the state of observer is called as temperature now what it means let us understand consider the following examples the first example heated metal rod placed in surrounding now when you are heating a metal rod the amount of heat supplied is responsible for the amount of temperature available with that metal rod the more heat you supply the more is the amount of temperature so due to heat supplied the temperature of the rod is more than surrounding hence degree of hotness is termed as temperature now consider another example ice cube taken out of refrigerator as per working of a refrigerator it is a device which consumes power and absorbs heat from a low temperature body and supplies it to a high temperature body means it removes heat from the bodies which are kept inside so due to removal of heat in a refrigerator the temperature of ice cube is less than surrounding hence degree of coldness is termed as temperature so in the first case we are dealing with degree of hotness in second case we are dealing with degree of coldness and that's why as per definition you have both words included that is degree of hotness or coldness of any body relative to the state of observer here state of observer means the amount of temperature available with the observer it is a thermodynamic property and it is a potential indicator when you are saying it is a property then property indicates the state of a system so temperature helps you identifying the state of a system whether your system is having more temperature less temperature or is it in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding once you have a property then there should be a method to measure it so the question is how to measure the temperature so in 17th century around 17th century a german instrument maker mr gabriel daniel fahrenheit came up with an idea of instrument called as thermometer and he gave glass thermometer so the liquid in glass type of thermometer which we use for clinical purpose today or domestic purpose is given for the first time by fahrenheit now once you have a thermometer there should be a scale so there are four scales the first scale is celsius scale it was given by swedish astronomer mr anders celsius now there are two points used to define the scale first is lower fixed point that is 0 degree celsius and upper fixed point as 100 degree celsius so here the two points are defined using water as a substance here 0 degree celsius corresponds to ice point of water and 100 degree celsius corresponds to steam point of water means this scale has a dependency on a substance this scale from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius is divided into 100 parts hence each part represents 1 degree celsius it should also be noted that earlier name of this scale was centigrade scale later on it was renamed as celsius scale another two point scale we have is fahrenheit scale which was given by german instrument maker mr gabriel de fahrenheit the same person who gave thermometer as an instrument for the first time this scale is also having two points first is lower fixed point that is 32 degree fahrenheit and upper fixed point as 212 from 32 degree fahrenheit 
to 212 degree Fahrenheit, you have 180 parts. So this scale is divided into 180 parts, hence each part represents 1 degree Fahrenheit. The third scale which comes into picture is Kelvin scale. It was given by Lord Kelvin and it is denoted by K, not degree K, because degree symbol was officially dropped. It is also called as absolute scale and it is a single point scale so it is depending only on one value and the relationship between Kelvin and degree Celsius is given as temperature in Kelvin equals to temperature in degree Celsius plus 273.15. Another single point scale is called as Rankine scale which was given by William Rankine and it is denoted by R. It is also a single point scale and it is related to Fahrenheit scale using temperature in Rankine equals to temperature in Fahrenheit plus 459.67. So these are all four temperature scales which we use for measurement of temperature. Then zeroth law of thermodynamics. Before going to the statement of zeroth law of thermodynamics, let us study some interesting facts about it. It was given by Mr. R. H. Fowler in 1931. It should be noted that first and second law of thermodynamics were framed around 1850, that is earlier than zeroth law. But still, it was named as zeroth law of thermodynamics and not as third law of thermodynamics. The question is, why? The answer is, it precedes first and second law of thermodynamics, means it comes before first and second law and hence it was named as zeroth law of thermodynamics, not as third law. Now, the statement of zeroth law of thermodynamics. It says, when two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with a third body separately, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. That is, if you have one body A, another body B and third body C, and body A is in thermal equilibrium with B, having same temperature, and separately this A is having thermal equilibrium with C, then these two bodies will be having same temperature as per zeroth law of thermodynamics. Now the explanation, what we are trying to do, we have three bodies. This is the first body and it is in thermal equilibrium with second body and it is in thermal equilibrium with third body. So this is used to compare temperature of this B and C. So exactly, this is our thermometer, this is our surrounding, this is our system. When you are not using thermometer to measure temperature of system, thermometer is already in contact with surrounding. So it indicates the temperature available at the surrounding. When you are using thermometer, you are making physical contact with the system, then it indicates the amount of temperature available with the system. So you are using this device, this body for comparing temperature of surrounding and system. And this is all about zeroth law of thermodynamics. Now thermometry. As per definition, the science which deals with temperature and its measurement is called as thermometry. Now thermometer. As per definition, the instrument which measures temperature of any body by making physical contact with that body is called as thermometer. It is used for measuring ordinary temperature, means it is used for measuring normal temperature ranges. Then pyrometer, it is another device which is used for temperature measurement. So what is the difference? The definition is given as the instrument which measures temperature of any body without making physical contact with that body is called as pyrometer. Here for thermometer, physical contact is necessary. But for a pyrometer, physical contact is not available. You don't make any physical contact. So it is favorable to use a pyrometer for high temperature measurement. Because of very high temperatures, physical contact is not possible. And that's why pyrometers are used, used in place of thermometers. Now thermometric substance and thermometric property. Consider an example, you have a liquid in glass type of thermometer. This thermometer in which you have a glass tube and inside you have a substance. This substance which we are using is mercury. So the substance which is present, that is working substance in my system, this 
thermometer is thermometric substance mercury is termed as thermometric substance of this substance what characteristic we are using to study the temperature to obtain the temperature so if you are making contact of this thermometer with the system because of higher amount of temperature the height of the liquid in this tube increases so the length is changing this change in length is corresponding to change in temperature so the amount of temperature available will be proportional to change in length so this characteristic that is length is termed as thermometric property means we are trying to study temperature with the help of length so length is termed as thermometric property now various temperature measuring devices first one is expansion thermometers which are sub classified into two types first is liquid in glass thermometer and second is bimetallic thermometer here thermometric property is expansion which is used to study temperature second one pressure thermometers which are sub classified into three types first is vapor pressure thermometer second is liquid filled thermometer and third is gas filled thermometer here in all these three sub classification here pressure is the thermometric property used to study temperature the third one is thermocouple thermometers what is thermocouple the junction of two dissimilar metals is called as thermocouple and it is capable of measuring temperature and that's why you have a thermocouple thermometer the fourth one is resistance thermometer means you are using electrical resistance as a property that is a thermometric property to study temperature then fifth and sixth deals with pyrometers that is radiation pyrometer and optical pyrometers this will be used for measuring high temperatures and the basic sensing element used in pyrometers is thermocouple again so this was all about concept of temperature zeroth law of thermodynamics and measuring devices hope you have enjoyed this session thank you for watching this video for more updates please like and subscribe our channel